So look, 430 Scuderia. Hello, sir. Kumba natin. Boom, boom. Oh. So the madass is back. So I just came back from an errand with the CB. Here's some clips of that. So now, since I'm done with my errand, time to bring the madass around. So we've got uh, a new coil spring now, so it's not bouncy anymore. And we've also uh, modified the rear brake master, so we have rear brakes now also. So now I deem the madass worthy of traversing public road. And today is the first time you're out for reals. Not just like going around the village for test drive purposes. It's exciting, exciting. Let's see how she does now after all the modifications. As for power, There still isn't any power, but at least it sort of goes now. And I think we can think two parts for that. Number one is we now have a longer sprocket, so we're not revving the nuts out of it just to cruise. And we also don't need to shift a lot, so in effect, it does move forward quicker. And also the Phyto ignition coil. I'm pretty sure that's helping now with the spark. Right, so the vibrations are still there. Like my feet are tingling. So maybe not at the night mobile just yet. Maybe for short ride, short rides now. Oh truck. Let's see how it does in truck situations. Neutral. Ah uh, gearbox, come on. Fuck. I'm a third. Come on, come on gearbox. Don't be a fucking fuck with me right now. Alright, let's see the singing prowess of the Madassery. Ow, 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 ow. I am so not sanai with this yet. So pardon me. Oh, what's this? It's Corvette. Hello, Corvette. Nice vet, sir. I'm already scraping peg on the sidewalk. Me and the gearbox aren't that acquainted yet. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So there's enough power in first gear to move me forward. So that's good, right? But there's not enough power in second gear. Oh wait, let's get distracted first. Look, 430 Scuderia. Hello, sir. Kumba natin. Boom, boom. Oh, Ferrari. <laughs> In first gear, there's enough power to get me going. Pero, during our lane filtering, the RPMs are a bit too high. So I want to use second gear. It looks like second gear is already bogging. <laughs> oh, little madass, little madass. It's okay. We love you. Yeah, so I guess in the power department, power could still be better. And right now we're in second gear. So we're carrying enough speed now. And there you see it's bogging. <laughs> second gear. It's bogging. So I'm not yet that uh, confident with the dimensions of this thing. Alright. There we go. Actually, I wonder if we can move up there. Try it out. Oh, yeah, we get nice, 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 nice. Nice one, Mr. Mada. Ah, we're full throttle. Oh, this guy is not even full throttle. Go, Puya Grab, go. He is pulling away from us. Oh, the Mada is big here. Ah, we're fucking down now. Oh my god. This thing is still slow. This thing is still somewhat painfully slow. Like it's actually painful how slow it is. 
Wow. All right, all right. I guess that's one of our to-do lists. Get some more power mods for this thing. The gears are pretty spaced out, huh? The first gear, second gear. Is it not to bug the engine down if you're not revving high enough? But the chassis though, the way it scoots around, I, I kind of like it. It's like quite more instantaneous than uh, my CV. Fort gear, I'm in fort gear ready. I guess I'm in fort gear ready. Huh. I don't think we can go for any more longer gears than this. Because the engine will bug. But I guess this is our pseudo top speed question mark. Oh my god, the horn is useless. <laughs> and actually, as I was staring at the two bikes, this and my CB in the garage, I actually also noticed that uh, this has less rake in the steering. So that should mean it's more responsive to turning. And I can see that it is. The chassis responds to input quite well, quite well. So now the only thing really that's making my experience right now not as pleasurable is the power. So this thing really has no power apparently. It's not so nice. See look a flick. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. It's so flickable. The, ha the handling is great. At least for a city street sort of thing. I'm not that of an experienced motorcycle rider yet or motorcycle racer to actually tell you guys if the chassis is indeed really good based on my noobish street uh, experience this chassis does feel great come on kid yeah yeah okay slow beans this thing is very slow beans Fourth gear, alright. Oh, not so bad, not so bad. At least this time around in Commonwealth, we're not revving the nuts out of it. So, the longer sprockets are working. They're working! Alright, so I guess that's gonna be the next things on the list. Make the engine more powerful. Because I do feel like a sitting duck whenever I can't accelerate to safety. Slowly, slowly. We're gonna get the madass up there. But for now, I consider this a success. The madass's first maiden voyage after we got her. And so far, all of the mods have been useful. See, look, it's so, so playful, so light. And at any time, I actually don't feel afraid of dropping the bike because it's so light, I can just put my foot down and it's right there. But yeah, so far, I am loving it. It is showing a lot of potential. Now we just need to work on it a bit some more. So yeah, maybe we can end the vlog now. Because I don't know if I'm going to ride this for later. So thank you guys for joining me on this short uh, Madass update again. Don't worry, we'll continue to work on the bike and improve it some more. So yeah guys, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And if you like that video and you want to see more updates of the madass, please like and subscribe. And if you're bored and have nothing else better to do, then go watch our old videos. This is Albert from Albert Rides Bird Adventures. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Kerchow!